I feel sorry for those who weren't born yet or just didn't watch this show, but to those with big dicks who did watch the show, it was great, wasn't it? Guys, gals, and crab people, the show I'm talking to you about is Camp Laszlo, but you already know that through the title, don't you? Well, today I made a video talking about the show and why you viewers should watch it. You know what? Even if you already did, I want you to watch this and go back to rewatch the show anyways because you deserve it. Anyways, let's talk about the show. The show was created by the great minds behind Rocco's Modern Life. You know, the wallaby with the golden voice that makes every woman gasp in the phone. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. <laughs> Camp Laszlo to some people is goofy, weird, yummy, and awesome. And I agree, except for that yummy part. I don't know who said that. From the looks of the characters, we can see the masterpiece that is Camp Laszlo. The main character, like the evil Austin McBroom to my gym partners and monkeys, Ace Family, is just cool and all around the better version. Not to take a giant shit on the other show though, but look at Laszlo, the one stripped banana mouth with God knows what for a nose. The setting, as in the name, takes place at the glorious round, dick shaped Pimpleback Mountains with its leaky lakes nearby. It is there where we meet the rest of the cast. The rest of the main cast includes Raj, Clam, Samson, Scoutmaster Lumpus, Edward, Wario, Slinkman, and Chip and Skip. There are, of course, more characters such as Patsy Smiles, whose love for Laszlo's one strip banana mouth is unparalleled. However, it's too many to list, so let's just keep to these eight. Laszlo is the main character of the show. He's the goofy, loving Brazilian spider monkey that everyone enjoys. Well, except for Scoutmaster Lumpus, sometimes the Squirrel Scouts, and most of the time, Edward. Edward hates him the most. It's something about Laszlo's nose that ticks him off. Edward, if you couldn't tell from the duck beak and the beaver-like tail, is a platypus. Edward's the cynical and bad-tempered bean scout who's always trying to grasp sexual dominance over his pairs. And I don't blame him with him being the youngest of his four dickhead brothers who we come to find out treats him as an embarrassment to their family. If you think I counted wrong when I said eight characters when there was nine on the screen, then you're sadly mistaken. The two used tampon sticks next to Edward is Chip and Skip. Both of them combined has an IQ count of a 12 year old. Therefore, they only count as one person. Chip and Skip are dung beetles and they need dirt. It is said in the official Camp Laszlo fandom page, they'll fall asleep for a hundred years if they are clean. And it's not good to be asleep around a platypus who's always scheming for sexual dominance. Let's talk about Laszlo's friends. Laszlo's friends are Raj and Clam. Raj is the deuteragonist, deuteragonist, whatever the fuck that is. He's basically the best boy of sorts. He's an Indian elephant, hence his Indian accent, and he mostly acts as the cautious one of the group. With Raj's 17 sisters, a brother, and 57 cousins, Edward should count his losses, because Raj's father and uncle is obviously the more sexual dominant. Clam is the non-talkative yet talented one of the group, and I say talented with great emphasis. If you were to give him a used condom and a pack of marbles, he would probably cure AIDS, and the sheer strength of his hands can rip apart a tree in seconds. Let's move away from the friend group and talk about Samson. Samson is a guinea pig and the postmaster for the camp. He likes cleanliness and staying organized. Unfortunately though, he's fat. And if you've seen any sitcoms, cartoons, comedies, or Beverly Hills, Ninja, you would know that the fat guy is either funny and desperate for love, a bully who's desperate for love, or bullied and desperate for love. There is no in-between. They have to be desperate for love. And I can assure you, Samson isn't feared. He's often called Doughboy or Butterball. Slinkman, the banana slug, and Scoutmaster Lumpus, the moose, runs the camp. Well, Slinkman really runs the camp while Lumpus just masturbates in the background and give everyone a hard time. Sadly though, Slinkman is subservient to the long throat moose, often cleaning his room and doing his bidding. If you were to be asked by Lumpus to commit an armed robbery, you bet you would say yes sir and proceed to pull out a strap. If you haven't already noticed, I've called Scoutmaster Lumpus, Lumpus, and Lumpus interchangeably. That's because it's pronounced Lumpus, but everyone in camp just says Lumpus. There's more I want to say about the characters, but that would be spoiling the show, and the whole point of this video is to get you, viewers, to watch the show. So to answer the question, yes, you should watch the show. I wouldn't think less of you if you don't, but if you do, I heard your dick grows by two inches, and if you don't have one, you will after watching Camp Laszlo. The show is about the campers getting into hijinks every episode under the guidance of a banana slug and a guy who's probably an imposter, so it's definitely worth the watch. And with that being said, make sure to like and subscribe. I make videos weekly now. That's right, I'm starting weekly. And yeah, and I'll see you later.